The advancement of women is an important issue for me in my department. At the moment, various measures are being implemented in the armed forces to recruit more women for military service. I have also given all administrative units the annual goal of employing at least 1% more women. In addition, the Women in the Armed Forces and Diversity Specialist Unit started its activities in January 2022. I am convinced that with their experience and ideas, women are a great asset to my department. As in business, in the Federal Department of Defense, Civil Protection and Sport, mixed teams are more successful. In the book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, American therapist John Gray posits that women and men behave quite differently. They hold different ambitions and even express their emotions differently, as if they come from two different planets. This book was a phenomenal success, but it rightfully received a lot of criticism because it reduced women and men to characteristics that are genetically determined. I do not believe in the Venus and Mars myth. Women and men differ, indeed, both biologically and psychologically. But those differences are smaller than generally assumed. And often due to upbringing, tradition or religion, or generated by old stereotypes or social pressure. If John Gray was right, the difference between men and women would be a reason to bring more gender equality into the work environment. Because women, usually good in multitasking, add up perfectly with men, usually good in delegating. But this kind of simplicity is not worth any consideration. No, the true benefit of having more gender equality in the work environment is societal. What kind of society wants to waste so much talent? What kind of society wants to let girls go to school, go to university, get a PhD, and then work in a shitty, badly paid part-time job? Ladies and gentlemen, the, this time is the most disruptive time in our lifetimes. When we exit this gigantic challenge called COVID-19, the next challenges are lined up. Global warming, globalization, migration, an aging population in industrialized countries, maybe a fourth industrial revolution that will lead to massive job losses. What if social security becomes unaffordable? It all can happen, pessimists believe. Personally, I'm convinced that we will make it, thanks to our creativity and technology, but on one condition if the role of women in our society and economy expands significantly. Because we can no longer afford to waste that much talent.